beautiful day in Miami. Look at this. It's perfect behind me. Perfect weather, perfect house, perfect life. Everything's perfect. Bullshit. It's definitely not perfect. You will never have some perfect set of scenarios when you have a fucking trajectory like mine. Do you know how many things a day come to, that are just thrown on my lap that would get the weak ass motherfucker to quit? The motherfucker with the weak mindset? The motherfucker that doesn't realize he was actually after that stress. That stress of the problem was actually what was gonna take him to the next level. You guys couldn't juggle my schedule. There's no fucking way. Right now, I was just realizing that I haven't stopped for one second since 2.45 this morning. Not one fucking second. I got hit with an email from the West Coast. The second I woke up, they must have sent it when I passed out at around 10, 10 p.m. last night I passed out. They sent it around 7 p.m. from the West Coast from a lawyer and an issue and a problem and this and that and this and that. What the fuck? Why do you think I preach high frequency, low frequency? If I just read that email and I decided to let my mood drop, my frequency drop, I let it beat me up, I let it piss me off. I mean, it's a loss, but it's not a big loss. That's what all these things are in your life. It's not a big fucking loss unless somebody got life or somebody lost their life. Do you see what I'm saying? Unless you lost your life or got life, you prissy little bitch, it's fine. Keep it pushing. There's going to be times where you have to work on yourself. There's going to be times where your business is paramount. There's going to be times when you get to be that perfect motherfucker online who speaks of balance like he's going to be able to kill it at all three. There is times when you can pull that off. That's when there's not really a problem in each area but your schedule's still stacked. But when those scales start tilting and business needs more of your attention, your fitness needs more of your attention, your health or your family or your people need more of your attention, that's what you're gonna have to put into. But the sad thing is you simple bitches, you cry about this, you're not gonna like this, profit solves everything. You really believe in this world that money is not really needed or it's evil or all you pussies that say, you don't need a, a six Rolls Royce. I'll just go buy a six right now because of fucking lames that say that. But profit will solve all your problems. Money. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you fucking pussy pieces of shit that profit will solve your problems. What's your problem? You don't get to spend enough time with your family? Guess what? More money will buy you that time. What's your problem? You don't have time to go to the gym. You don't have the resources. Guess what? Profit solves that. All your problems come from money, motherfucker. Stupid fuck. The thing is, is you've just minimized your vision, your plan, your dream life to match your pussy work ethic. It's sickening. I don't do that shit. I have a massive vision that's always growing and I match it with a with fucking savage, relentless, fucked up, psychopathic mindset and work ethic. I know it's not going to go good. I don't fucking care. When the shit goes down, the story unfolds. When it starts to get deeper and bigger, and I remember what I overcame, I get stronger. Your guys' stories are so weak because you wished away the strength. Those problems that you avoided... That was the future strength you fucking needed to be the motherfucker that anybody would actually look at with some sort of respect. We respect what people went through, not what they have. So don't get it fucked up when I say profit solves everything. I don't respect a motherfucker for what he's got. You know me, spoiled little bitch boys got some shit and they roll up. We're like, look at this fucking lay. You get it? You fucking get it? But in my shoes, when we talk about profit solves everything, hey, you better get you that shit you like. And I laugh on my Instagram about, I think it's crazy that you guys don't even have one Rolls Royce. That's crazy to me. When I say shit like that, I'm already assuming you know that we got good character. We help people first and foremost. That's how we even make the money. 
and we ain't cracking for nothing. So I always speak in a manner of believing that it's not some new ass motherfucker who knows nothing about me. And guess what, you pricks out there who know a lot about me? If you know a lot about me and you skip over the fact that I helped millions of people to make my money and make my life, then you're just a blind bitch and you don't get that that's what you're doing. You're committed to misunderstanding me because you know the facts. You know what I do for a living. You see the thrilled testimonials. You see the fat boys that end up having six packs and you know it's because they quit drinking, quit doing dope, got their mind right, got their life right, you fucking bitch. And then you go in my shit and you say, looks like he's all about the money. No, I'm all about helping people. I'm all about working hard. And guess what that gets me? A lot of money, you stupid motherfucker. But the fact is, is that some people will always just be committed to misunderstanding you. And simple motherfuckers will only see your Richard Mill, your multiple phantoms, your mansions, and they'll say, oh, that's all you care about. I got problems too, bitch. They're bigger than yours. I just don't cry about them. I solve them. And guess what happens when I solve each one? I get better and better and better, more and more and more confident. And when that little problem came to your door and you whined about it and acted like I could save you, like I should, like I should give you something, that's when you fucked up because nobody gave me nothing. That's where my strength came from. The motherfuckers who didn't get a handout, those are different motherfuckers. They'll never even take one. Seen a fucking message from one of my clients, uh, one of his team. And he helped this guy when he had nothing. The guy went to listing all his shit. Your Ferrari, your $2 million house, your $200,000 watch. And he's saying all this, counting the dude's money in his fucking pockets. And he doesn't even know that that guy just went through a divorce. I work with him personally and he has a lot of struggles internally. And he tries his hardest every day not to break and smoke a fucking bitch. You guys... You're not the only one with problems. You're just the only one bitching out when they get too big for you to handle. The ones who got the shit, they didn't bitch out, motherfucker. Step the fuck up. Let's go!